Hey, what's going on? What's going on? This is the first episode of Agents Corner where we're going to just discuss uh, different blog topics that you might find on our website. Uh, today's topic is how to plan a birthday party you'll never forget. Um, I think this is a very interesting topic. It, te- it seems to come up a lot, especially it's it's usually searched a lot. Um, you know, my, my thought process on it is I don't know if I had a lot of money, if I would spend it on a big celebrity for my birthday party or wedding. I mean, what do, what do you guys, uh, advice if you had a uh, hundred grand to throw away, <laughs> would you spend oh, it on a celebrity? No, nah, I'd spend more of it on, <laughs> on a nice gift that they can keep. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Um, yeah, I think that's kind of my thought process. You know, I think when you're looking for, uh, entertainment at a, a, a function like that, a family gathering or, you know, a special occasion like that. I think it's good to um, maybe consider just someone that's talented that can sing and, and do, uh, you know, uh, some cover songs or, you know, something that's more familiar or also save you a little bit of, of money. At least that's my thoughts um, when it comes to that. Uh, what do you guys think? Yeah, definitely. Uh, and another thing, I definitely think that for, you know, a birthday party, uh, which is obviously more of a happy occasion, not so much romantic, like a wedding anniversary, something like that, you want it, you want it to be fun and upbeat. So I think that going with a band, if possible, would be a good route. And, and to piggyback off what you said, you know, you can save money, even getting a, a multi-person band, you know, with them not being a celebrity, but just, a, a you know, a nice talented band would be a, a good route to go. A lot of bands are real hungry just to perform, you know, in front of people um, and get things going. And you definitely want to, definitely want to keep it like age specific as well. So if it's a 50 year old, <laughs> if it's a 50 year birthday party, as opposed to like a 16 year old birthday party, of course you want to keep that in mind too. Yeah. And if they can mix, like I think you had said, uh, you know, a combination of covers and originals, uh, you know, that would make it a little bit more like interactive because obviously like uh, if someone does their whole catalog, you may not recognize, you know, half of those songs, but if you can add some some covers in there, uh, get the, the the crowd singing along, uh, you know, I think it would make it a little bit more for a more interactive uh, event. But yeah, and taking yeah, think, requests too, and taking requests too. That's another thing that that will make it fun. You know, that's a way for ready, the if they're ready to perform the, the yeah. song. <laughs> And that's a way for bands to make extra money too, like uh, through tips. Because a lot of times, yeah. um, you know, you'll tip the band to, hey, can you play this song? You know, tip 20 bucks, 50 bucks, or whatever. Uh, you know, it's an extra way for make them money on top of the guarantee that they're already getting paid. Well, the request right. thing has me thinking maybe a DJ would be a good idea <laughs> instead of an actual act. Or uh, if, you know, you said the age thing, if it's a 16 year old or a sweet 16, maybe a TikTok star or an influencer uh, mm-hmm. would make mm-hmm. sense. But, There's a ton of options out there. We just wanted to give some insight. Definitely check out our blog for some great topics. Um, This is our episode one. Be on the lookout for more coming your way. And uh, yeah, Agent's Corner. Bye.